Caitlin from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. Today in this episode, I wanted to show you four different varieties of petunias planted in our landscape. So back in May, I did a video explaining the different varieties of petunias and why they're different from each other. So in this episode, I want to show you how they perform in the landscape. As a recap, in the video in May, we chatted about the color rush petunias. We chatted about the super tunias by proven winners. We also talked about tidal wave and wave petunias. So if you're interested in learning about the varieties and why they're different, you can check out that episode by scrolling through our previous videos to find that episode on petunias. So without further ado, let's check out these petunias in the landscape. this episode with a super tunia vista bubblegum petunias by proven winners so this is what's behind me uh, it is gorgeous in landscape we actually plant this every year just because it's a statement of color and every year it fills out the flower bed and it looks stunningly gorgeous all year long all the way up until frost so in this flower bed we did add slow release fertilizer which is like osmocote to the soil as we planted them and we also mulched around the petunias and that holds in moisture well. So after the first three weeks of planting these petunias we did water every single day or we tried to at least. Um, since then after those three weeks we watered probably about once a week still giving them plenty of moisture but mulch has really helped hold, holding in the moisture around these petunias. <laughs> So the next up is the tidal wave petunias and this is what this is right here is the tidal wave petunia so they are planted by seed they are seed petunia actually get the plugs in later this is the tidal wave hot pink it is really striking planted against the mahogany splendor hibiscus which is in the back so it just looks really good together so as you can tell the tidal wave does get more of a mounding habit um, a little different than the wave petunias what their habit is so the next up is wave petunias. So we have different color of wave petunias planted in this flower bed. It's actually in front of the gorgeous vertigo grass in the back. That's also by proven winners. These wave petunias have started mounding, started looking beautiful in the landscape. In this flower bed, we did not add slow release fertilizer. We ran out of it, so we didn't have enough for this flower bed, but we did fertilize using a hose sprayer. Fertilized about once a week, and then we watered every day for about three weeks before they got established. Since then, we've been watering about once a week. So down here at our sign flower bed, uh, but this is a wooden planter box. We actually went that route instead of directly into the ground, which we like so much better, so much more easier care. We planted Color Rush Petunias. So Color Rush is by Ball Seed. It is a gorgeous variety of petunia, similar to the bubblegum petunia and its habit. Um, the bloom is just maybe a little bit smaller than the bubblegum, but habit-wise, they're about the same. planter box it has new soil inside of it new this year we also added a slow release fertilizer which is great when we water and it slowly releases that fertilizer into the soil fertilizing these gorgeous petunias but again we were watering um, consistently for about three weeks to get these plants established first three weeks and then we've been watering about once a week following the thing that I love about color rush petunias 
tidal wave and wave petunias and even the bubble gum, the super tunia variety by proven winners, is that there is very little deadheading involved into these plants. So in our last video, there was a question or maybe someone made a comment that they still have to deadhead theirs and you can still deadhead your, um, your petunias if you would like. That's a totally a personal thing, but for us, they do spectacular in the landscape because really all they need is water, some slow release fertilizer in the soil and very little care. Last but not least, check out the Super Tunia Vista Jazzberry Petunia by Proven Winners. So this was a new one on the market this year and it looks beautiful in a hanging basket. There's about eight to 10 petunias planted in this basket here. And she did add slow release fertilizer to the soil as well to give that the extra boost throughout the growing season. And we water or we try to water our petunia basket daily. I hope this video on the different varieties performing in the landscape was helpful. I know for me when I go to different plant shows and I see the different plants that we grow in the greenhouse performing in the landscape in July and August, I can get more of a visual picture of what those how those plants perform so it makes it easier in the next year to know what to plant in the landscape and to what to recommend to our customers to plant and even for us what to purchase the following year. So it's really helpful to see how those plants do during July and August during the heat of the season. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Remember to subscribe to our channel, keep liking and sharing our content, and we will see you next time.